Hello, my name is Richard Moore. I'm the Director of Programs and Services at SIAM, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to SIAM's 2021 Virtual Conference Platform. The platform I'm about to show you will be used for all of SIAM's 2021 conferences, and I'm going to walk you through some of the features available to you. Um, most of these features will be available at all of our conferences. Some will vary depending on the conference. Before the conference starts, uh, you'll receive an email welcoming you to the conference and explaining how to log in. You'll be using the attendee login that you see on the right. When you click on that attendee login, you'll be sent to SIAM.org to use your SIAM credentials when you log in. Those are the same credentials you will have used to register for the conference in the first place. Since I have admin access, I'm going to log in using the admin portal. which will take me to the lobby of the conference. Now within the lobby, you'll see lots of things to click on, uh, including some sponsor videos. Uh, you'll see um, different links to take you to other parts of the platform, including the poster hall and the coffee break gather space that we'll talk about a little bit more later. I'm gonna primarily use the top nav bar for this walkthrough uh, since I find it most convenient. And let's proceed to the exhibit hall where you'll see the exhibitors including conference sponsors, publishers, etc. You can click on the exhibitors' booths and you'll see links they provided. You'll also see videos and documents they may have provided as well. Those videos and documents you can watch at the moment or you can add them to your swag bag. And I'll show you what to do with your swag bag a little later on. You can also click on chat. That will send you to the conference chat utility uh, where you can interact uh, either asynchronously or synchronously with the, uh, the booth representatives. Proceeding to the program, this is of course the meat potatoes of the conference. This is where you can attend all of the live sessions. Uh, you'll see a listing of all of the conference talks in the program uh, ordered in terms of time, starting with Thursday for the International Conference on Data Mining. Uh, before I look through this program in a little more detail, I'll just point out that at the top here, you see links to SIAM's own uh, online program and speaker list in case you prefer to navigate through those links uh, that you might be more familiar with and search on speakers that you want to see, for instance. Uh, you can, of course, use the search bar in the program back in the platform to search on speakers that you want to uh, see the talks of. And if I continue down into the session descriptions, uh, you'll see the top or right of each of these session descriptions uh, green timestamp with a countdown. When that countdown goes to zero, of course, that's the time for the session to start. You'll see this green text replaced by a join button. Clicking on that join button will allow you to enter the Zoom that that session is being held on. Now that Zoom will either be a Zoom meeting or a Zoom webinar. A Zoom meeting is used for contributed talks, uh, contributed sessions rather, mini symposia, panels, uh, mini tutorials, workshops, basically everything except for an invited plenary or a prize talk, which are held on Zoom webinar. And the reason I make that distinction is that any session that's held on Zoom meetings, again, contributed sessions, mini symposia, panels, uh, mini tutorials, et cetera, uh, they uh, will be entered through the platform directly by clicking on that join button. And that's true whether you're an attendee or whether you're a session chair or a speaker. If you're a session chair or a speaker, uh, we ask that you enter the session 15 minutes in advance of the start time so you can get settled with your audio, um, your video, your screen share. When you enter the Zoom 15 minutes prior to the scheduled start time, uh, there you'll find a VFAIRS, uh, TAC, uh, VFAIRS staff uh, to greet you. Identify yourself as a session chair or a speaker to the VFAIRS tech, uh, and they'll get you set up uh, and get you on your way to writing the, the session. Uh, if you're simply an attendee, you can also enter prior to the start time. Uh, but of course, all you'll be uh, seeing there is the speakers and uh, the session chair getting set up. So we recommend you enter a little closer to the start time. Now, I mentioned before that uh, some sessions are being held on Zoom meetings and some sessions are being held as Zoom webinars. The invited plenary and the prize talks are webinars. In those cases, the attendees will again enter simply through the platform by clicking on the join button but the session chairs and speakers, they will enter through an email that they will have received with a link to enter those sessions as panelists with elevated privileges. 
So if you are a session chair or a speaker in an invited plenary or a prize talk, please make sure you monitor your email uh, and verify that you've received that link at least 24 hours in advance of the start of your talk time. Uh, and if you haven't, let us know either through the, uh, the tech support chat that I'm going to show you in a second, or just by emailing meetings at siam.org, and we'll make sure you have those links. Now, if I go through the session descriptions, you'll see that uh, in each of the sessions, I have the times uh, corresponding to each of the speaker's talks, plus their titles. If I click on uh, the speaker, I'll see the abstract for their talk. Once the conference is over, uh, in fact, once the session's over, uh, within 24 hours of the end of that session, a recording of the session will be posted and will appear exactly where the join button appeared before. Once it's been posted, the recording's been posted, that button will turn to a play button and it'll be available on demand. The entire conference, uh, the entire set of live sessions recorded uh, at the conference will be available on the platform via on-demand access for a month after the conference ends. So if you did have uh, any conflicts that forced you to miss the live talks as they were being given, you'll be able to go back and revisit those talks on demand after, uh, after the session ends, after the conference is over, for a month afterwards. Moving on to the poster hall. Uh, here, of course, you'll see all the posters in thumbnail form, where if you click on a thumbnail, you'll see the poster uploaded in PDF. On the right, you see a Q&A board where you can post questions. Oops. Where you can post questions. And in fact, during the poster session, which you'll see what the time is if you go back to the program, you'll see a poster there. Uh, during the poster session, you'll see at the top of the Q&A board a link to a video room where you can interact with, this, with the poster presenter directly. They can take you through a walkthrough and they can do that in group form. So multiple people can join that uh, video walkthrough just as you would have a group of people discussing a poster if you were at a poster session in person. In addition to the poster PDF, uh, several posters have also posted papers to accompany their posters. Uh, in that case, if you click on that abstract button, you'll see uh, an extended paper to accompany the poster that you can read through for more detail. And in other cases, poster presenters have included uh, a video, a pre recorded video walkthrough. I know there was one here, there it is. If you click on watch presentation, you can listen to the speaker go through their poster. The information desk provides you with uh, some links, well, to this information, the walkthrough of the platform, uh, some links to SIAM information, and most importantly on the right here, you see a link to the technical assistance chat, the tech support chat, where you can post questions that will be viewed by both VFAIR staff and SIAM staff. I'm gonna come back to this chat in a second, so I'll leave it open uh, for now and continue along the nav bar at the top. The leaderboard is simply a way of gamifying interaction with the platform. You're awarded certain points for uh, doing things on the platform and five attendees with the most points wins a, a fun cyan mask. The resources that you see here are simply those resources that you saw included in the exhibit hall booths, uh, where again, you can view them directly, you can add them to your swag bag. If you do add them to your swag bag, then you can email them all to yourself um, during the conference so you can consume them at a time of your convenience and not necessarily take away from your time interacting with the rest of the conference. Finally, the lounge uh, has a couple of links to social media, but most importantly, you see this link in the top right to the Coffee Break Gather Space. The Coffee Break Gather Space is uh, a gather environment, for those of you familiar with Gather, uh, where you can bump into colleagues, interact with them in group video chats, uh, sit down and play a game with them, interact with uh, a whiteboard that you share. Um, basically a way of, of fostering the type of spontaneous interaction with colleagues and conferences that we all look forward to. So I encourage you to come to the Gather Space anytime when you're not actively involved in a Zoom session at the live conference. Uh, it will be open through the duration of the conference. 
So finally, if uh, we go back to the chat that I showed you before, now up in the top nav bar, uh, the chat will be here when the conference goes live. It's not here now because it, it's uh, disconnected until the conference goes live. But ultimately, you'll see a, another link up here to get you to the chat. Uh, the chat I showed you before was a technical support chat where, of course, you post questions if you have any issues with the platform or with uh, the conference in general. Uh, but in addition to the tech support chat, there are chat rooms for each of the live sessions uh, that you see in the program. And I strongly encourage you, if you are attending any of the Zoom sessions, any of the live sessions, that you also join the chat room that's associated. So if you participate in CP11, for instance, uh, join that chat room by clicking on the, uh, the chat room, hitting save, uh, and the advantage of being in the chat room while you're simultaneously in the live Zoom is that here I can see everybody who's listed in this chat room. So I can see all my colleagues that are also participating in that same session, but I can post questions to them, uh, interact with them in a way that will stay up even after the live Zoom session ends. When the live Zoom session goes down, that chat discussion is lost, whereas the chat that's um, done on the conference platform chat will persist throughout the conference. And actually this, um, this chat room uh, is also enabled with a video chat. So if you're having a discussion in the Zoom corresponding to the live session and the live session ends, you can bring that discussion over here. You can click on the name of your colleagues and uh, activate a video chat. That can include up to 50 people. Uh, so it's a good way of keeping the conversation going after the session ends. So that pretty much covers it for the, uh, the conference platform. Again, some aspects of this platform will be available for some conferences, but not others. Uh, but this gives you an idea of how to take uh, advantage of all the features we have made available for you at SIAM's 2021 virtual conferences. So thanks for your attention, and I hope you enjoy an upcoming conference.